Hello, my name is M.K. Davis. Uh, what you're looking at is frame 352 of the famous Patterson Bigfoot footage taken in Northern California in uh, 1967. Uh, this particular frame right here is probably one of the very best images from the film. It, it was obtained uh, from Mrs. Patterson herself. It was from a 4x5 transparency that was made from the original film and it is of absolutely superb quality. I wanted to invite you to, to you know, uh, hang with me a little bit this evening, and let's just kind of play with this frame and see what we can find in it that's interesting. Uh, what I wanted to look at a little bit tonight would be uh, uh, some co false color Im imaging techniques and apply those to them. False color is something that's used in astronomy. Uh, I have a large telescope, and I did a lot of uh, film uh, photography through it, uh, and learned quite a bit about different techniques for uh, gleaning data from an image. Uh, and so I, I'll just, when I applied those to the Patterson film, uh, it, it, it really worked remarkably well. I, I'll give you an idea, and, and if this runs over, you know, the limited time for uh, YouTube, I may have to split it into two parts, but I want to make sure I cover, you know, all of this. This is probably the best image you'll ever see of a Sasquatch, uh, at least up until now anyway, unless someone has something better or has come up with something better. You notice the tones. Uh, let me just blow it up a little bit more. The tones for the skin and the tones for the hair, and I've said this over and over, are, are different. Even though they're, they're fairly close, but th there is some differences. And in astronomy, you know, when you want to look at some detail uh, in a nebula or you want to look at detail in, in a comet or, or, or details of any type, you know, that's from from objects that are extended or are very faint. Oftentimes false color techniques are employed. Uh, in other words, you just kind of drive another color in. Uh, and when it mixes with the natural colors, one color, one area like this hair right here will go one direction and the area like in this skin right here will go another direction. And even though it gives you a false color, it, it provides uh, a lot of contrast so that you can tell the difference between the two. Uh, and, and you begin to tell detail. And, and if you're not looking for aesthetics. You're looking for uh, information. And what we want is information about this subject right here. So let's just kind of uh, start right here on the arm. And I, what I'll do is I'll just kind of lasso it uh, right here. And just uh, draw a lasso around it. And we'll just deal with the arm right now. Well, let me drive some colors into it. We'll see which ones work the best. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my lasso down and re-lasso it because every time I use a click, it doubles the amount that it applies to it. And I don't want to make big moves. I just want to make small moves. So we'll re-lasso it again and make some more moves. Alright. 
Now let's just merge that. And let's just move around. And you're going to see some lines where I overlap. But uh, it's kind of stay along this shadow line. You know where the light's hitting it. We'll go back up under here. Back down this leg. Uh oh. Took off on me. Back off here. Let's try it again. Well, I'm going to have to reduce the size of it, I guess, to uh, be able to do this. So let me get, do that. All right, let's try again. cover this whole entire area okay that sounds like a good deal all right let's drive those colors Or you're getting kind of see what I what I'm what I'm doing here. You begin to see that the, a lot of difference between the hair and the skin here, even up here where I, I kind of maybe uh, uh, should have left it a little softer. But you still see the difference between the hair. The hair is very sparse and mottled in coverage, and you can see muscles. There's a muscle there. You can see this huge bicep right here. The uh, the distance across this thing is incredible. Let's just uh, merge this one. Let's go for the head. Ah, let's see here. Now, let's pump some color in there. Now, let me just uh, merge that. 